Hello there! Welcome back to Deck 13 Inside. It is time to speak about the world of Atlas Fallen, especially all the cool things you can do in there. But before we start, I gotta make one thing very clear. Atlas Fallen is a semi-open world game. I've seen people that call it an open world game, and that's technically wrong. The game consists of multiple bigger areas, and you spend several hours exploring them, and once you have progressed the main quest far enough and you feel comfortable with the amount of exploration you did, then you're able to progress to the next area. You will also be able to backtrack to some of the areas you explored before, but it's separate levels, not one seamless open world. And now that this is cleared up, let me reintroduce you to Alex, an inside veteran here to speak about some of the activities you're able to do in our semi-open world. Now, besides a lot of fighting, of course, because this is a very combat-centric game, the world of Atlas Fallen offers these kinds of abilities that the player can engage with, such as the animals that inhabit the world that the player can follow to uncover treasure, uh, the characters in the world or vendors the player can encounter, track uh, treasure on treasure maps that the player can find. Players will also encounter these heavenly shrines dedicated to the sun god Thelos uh, they want to topple. These shrines present to the player a kind of environmental challenge, so they have to utilize their movement abilities to get around it, get up onto it, find the weak spots and beat it down. And uh, after breaking down such a statue, they are uh, greatly rewarded to progress their character. One of the most prominent landmarks uh, that will stand out to players in the world of Atlas Fallen are the Watchtowers, which are huge structures placed by the Sun God to overlook his realm. But don't worry, you don't have to climb them to reveal markers all over the world. You go there, you get a great combat challenge, and after beating it down, you pacify the land around it and get new gameplay opportunities in the area around the Watchtower. The Gauntlet is empowering the player with the godly powers that are affecting the sands and the environment around them. Um, the first power the player will encounter in the game is the ability to um, raise giant structures from the sand. Uh, we are playing in an old world that is uh, in ruin and the player's power is to bring these ruins back to the surface and use them to overcome environmental challenges. Another power um, the player receives from the gauntlet is the ability of the gauntlet to enhance the player's jumping and aerial movement capabilities. The player can perform double jumps to reach very high places and throughout the game he gains the godly ability to dash up to three times to span insane vertical distances which again offers interesting opportunities for the design of the world and the player's mobility in it. Lastly there's an ability I want to speak to that is the gondola's power to crush the godly chains that Thelos the Sun God has placed around the environment. So there's valuables, there's interactions, there's powerful artifacts. The Sun God tries to lock down by chaining them with his magical chains, but the player eventually learns the ability to crush them and make them his own or interact with them to unlock new opportunities uh, for exploration and activity in the world of Atlas Fawn. The powerful moveset of the player set certain challenges for us because we not only during the design process thought about how to get the player from A to B in a horizontal space and how to get him to not go places he's not supposed to go um, because the strong horizontal as well as vertical moveset um, allows the player a lot of freedom, right? Um, but in that is also an interesting opportunity and that is us asking ourselves the question why should we not allow the player to go this very interesting space up there? Um, and then we figured, yeah, let's allow that, um, give him the freedom. And uh, that makes Exploration and Atlas Fallen very unique. But it, ca it came with its challenges, right? Um, but in the end, I think we figured it out quite well and made a unique traversal and exploration experience. 